Napoleon Hill wrote this self-help book, Think and Grow Rich, in 1937. This book is 25 years of research on some of the most economically successful individuals. The main idea behind this book is that you can be anything that your mind deems possible. Although this book is many decades old, the lessons from it are still valuable for amassing wealth in this current dispensation. In this video, I will share 10 best pieces of advice from Think and Grow Rich. 1. Thoughts are powerful things One of the major ideas of this book by Napoleon Hill is that the man who thinks he can accomplish something is already a step towards the finish line. As humans, we often get caught up with so many physical activities that we don't pause to know what is happening to our mental faculty. We believe that if we could change our actions and act a certain way, we could improve our lives. Indeed, change in behavior can transform our lives, but is it possible to change your behavior without first paying attention to the thoughts that go on in your mind? Napoleon asserts that thoughts are things and powerful things at that when they are mixed with definiteness of purpose, persistence and a burning desire for their translation into riches or other material objects. If you must change your life's outcome, you must first change your thoughts and narratives because thoughts are powerful entities and can either work for you or against you. 2. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. It was Albert Einstein who once remarked, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited, imagination encircles the world. In his book, Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon backed Einstein's saying with the statement, you can create anything your mind conceives and deems possible. The power of imagination is key to getting the kind of life you desire. In his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen Covey narrates the story of a prisoner who found freedom right in prison through his imagination. Unlike knowledge, creative visions are not limited but present realities. Instead, our imaginations are like a world of our own, which we build by ourselves. In Walt Disney, some Imagineers perform all the Imagineering. This arm of the Disney studio is responsible for the creation, design and construction of Disney theme parks and attractions worldwide. Our imaginations can become a reality. So, you must first imagine it for you to bring anything into existence. 3. Desire is the starting point for all achievements Many people are ignorant about the role of desire in the actualization of dreams and ambition. Too often, when the word desire is mentioned, it is seen as a negative word that stems from selfishness. But that notion is not valid. The fact that you desire to be wealthy does not make you greedy or evil. According to Emerson, there's nothing capricious in nature, and the implanting of a desire indicates that its gratification is in the constitution of the creature that feels it. In other words, everything a man needs, good or bad, he must first desire. And as long as you desire it, it is possible. So if you want to make wealth in the right way and for the right reasons, your desire can bring it to accomplishment. 4. Knowledge is power only to the extent with which it is directed to action. Almost everyone is familiar with the saying knowledge is power. However, the truth is that knowledge is not power, it is potential power. It only becomes power when it is used. General knowledge, no matter how great in quantity or variety it may be, is of but little use in the accumulation of money. This is why professors are not the wealthiest people in the world. For knowledge to be valuable, it has to be organized and intelligently directed through practical action plans. There are so many well-schooled individuals who are miserable today because the educational system is faulty. Schools dish out theoretical knowledge to students but do not teach them how to organize and make use of the knowledge they acquire. This book explains that it's not just enough to be knowledgeable but put your knowledge to work. 5. Avoid negative emotions and focus all your energy on positive ones. Napoleon noted that the subconscious mind registers all of our thoughts, both positive and negative. You can't think of something positive and negative at the same time. You can't get both negative and positive emotions at the same time. Your subconscious mind is like an archive. It registers everything and acts based on your predominant thinking patterns. So, if your emotion is continuously focused on success, love and optimism, 
your subconscious mind works its way through to make sure that those emotions which form the basis of your thoughts translate into physical reality. This is why you must at all times be conscious of your thoughts and emotions. Filter and do away with the negative ones and focus all your energy on developing positive feelings and thoughts. 6. Sexual impulses can be translated into productivity. Many people believe that sex is nothing but a physical feeling and experience, but in this book, the author points out that sex is a very significant emotion. Napoleon mentions that an above-than-average sexual nature is a typical feature of highly successful people, although this doesn't mean that they use it physically. According to him, a great salesperson can reach a position of influence in his field only if he is able to transmutate his sexual energy during the sales process fully. Sexual transmutation is done by first acknowledging your sexual desire, but then consciously deciding to translate it into enthusiasm and passion for your profession instead of its most physical counterpart. Although sexual transmutation is not natural and requires a high degree of willpower, you should practice it because its returns on investment can change your whole life for good. 7. Fear only stops those who let it On your road to mental, spiritual, financial, in fact, every success in life, fear is the number one opponent. Fear is one evil adversary that has caused many people to die without actualizing their potential and making importance. Nevertheless, as dangerous as fear is, it does not have the power to cripple you if you do not let it in. Fear cannot stop a fearless man. In Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon compares the brain to radio as they both operate at a specific set of frequencies. Thus, just as radio can only provide sound when the transmitter and receiver are set to the same rate, so does the brain activity in response to the emotions that are on the same wavelength with it. Conclusively, if you want your brain to provide success, then you have to shut out fear and make sure that your emotions reflect only success. 8. There is no substitute for persistence The lack of persistence is one reason why wealth generation is difficult for many people. Napoleon emphasizes that for success to be accomplished, you must develop the spirit of persistence. Many people tend to give up on their very first attempt to try something new, so their likelihood to succeed is zero. But for those who are successful, they have been able to build an unwavering degree of persistence to their dreams and aspirations. Many times, life will get on your way and strike you that you fall. But if you desire success, you must be persistent enough to pick up yourself from the ground and keep moving towards the direction of your desire. 9. There is power in the mastermind Napoleon describes the mastermind principle as the coordination of knowledge and effort between two or more people who work towards a definite purpose in a spirit of harmony. No two minds can ever come together without thereby creating a third, invincible, intangible force which may be likened to a third mind. Many new ventures that were once garage business have thrived and become established realities in today's world because of the combined effort of many high-performing minds. No matter how hard you try, you cannot get to the top on your own. You need people to help hold the ladder and suggest ways to climb better. Hence, after you have equipped yourself with vision, fate, desire, knowledge and imagination, you also need to surround yourself with like-minded people. They should be people you know you can trust from an intellectual perspective that can give you remarkable insights and sparks from whom you can draw inspiration. 10. Infinite intelligence may and will communicate voluntarily without any effort from or demands by the individual. According to Napoleon, infinite intelligence is a function of the sixth sense. The sixth sense is thought to be a mysterious sense in ability that can give you thoughts and ideas to help you become a receiver of information instead of only a transmitter. It has also been referred to as the receiving set, through which ideas, plans and thoughts flash into the mind. The flashes are sometimes called hunches or inspirations. This sixth sensibility is essential and just anybody can develop it. Napoleon recommends that meditation and mindfulness is the best way to tap into the incredible power of the sixth sense. Undoubtedly, following the principles in this book can propel you to great heights if you suppress negative thoughts and focus on long-term goals.